In this example, we're going to solve this double absolute value equation. So the first step into solving any absolute value equation is to isolate the absolute value expression. Well, it looks like we have two of them, so let's just go ahead and choose one. And we'll go ahead and choose this first one, this 2x minus 1. So we'll isolate this absolute value expression, and we'll do so by subtracting x from both sides. So I have the absolute value of 2x minus 1 all by itself on the left side of the equation. And that equals the absolute value of 3x plus 2 minus x minus 5. Alrighty. So as we solve absolute value equations, once we have that isolated, we break it into two separate equations. And this 2x minus 1 will reside on the left side of both of them. And as far as the right side is concerned, we'll have to take a positive version and a negative version. So let's go ahead and do the positive one first. So 3x plus 2 minus x minus 5. So we just kept all the signs the same. And now for the other one, 2x minus 1 equals the opposite of the absolute value of 3x plus 2. And then plus x plus 5 when we change those signs. Well, okay, well, we've broken this down now into two equations, but you'll notice in each equation I have another absolute value expression that I need to deal with. So let's go ahead and work with the left one first. So I would like to isolate this absolute value expression and then break it into, again, two other equations. So let's add x and add 5 to both sides. So I'll have, let's see, 3x plus 4 equals the absolute value of 3x plus 2. Let's go ahead and switch these two sides using the symmetric property of equality just so we can see our absolute value term on the left. Okay, now let's go ahead and split that up into um, two other equations. So we have our absolute value which is 3x plus 2 and we'll set that equal to a positive version and a negative version of this right side. So 3x plus 4, and then also we have our 3x plus 2 equals negative 3x minus 4. In the left one, you'll notice the 3x's actually cancel, so we have 2 equals 4, and this will not yield any solution whatsoever, so we'll just skip that. So on this one, we'll add 3 to both sides and get 6x. We'll subtract 2 to get negative 6. So x equals negative 1. So there's one possible value for x. Okay, let's swing back over here. And let's solve this one now. So we have the negative absolute values. So let's go ahead and move him over to the left side as a positive absolute value. And then because he needs to be isolated, we'll go ahead and subtract 2x and add 1. So when I subtract 2x and add 1, that's what that's going to look like. And, of course, it's time to break that one down into two other equations. So we'll say 3x plus 2 equals the positive version and the negative version. So negative x plus 6. And then 3x plus 2 equals positive x minus 6. Let's solve both of these equations. So add x. So 4x equals, and then subtract 2 makes 4. So x equals positive 1 here. And finally, we're going to subtract x, so 2x, and then subtract 2, so negative 8, x equals negative 4. So the first one over here yielded nothing, so we really only have to focus on these three, uh, negative 1, positive 1, and negative 4. So I'll say 1, negative 1, negative 4. Now let's go ahead and rewrite the original equation. That way we can go ahead and check these values to see which ones work and uh, which ones uh, possibly are extraneous values. So let's start with x equals 1. 2 times 1 is 2 minus 1 is 1. So the absolute value in 1 plus 1 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. So the x equals 1 will not work. That's going to be extraneous. So let's try x equals negative 1. Okay, so 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Minus 1 is negative 3. Absolute value is positive 3. And then plus x, which you're adding a negative 1. So that'll be 2. And 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 
plus 2 is negative 1, absolute value is positive 1, minus 5 is negative 4. So that one's no good either. So hopefully, right, my x equals negative 4 will work. Let's go ahead and plug it in and try. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, minus 1 is negative 9, absolute value is 9, minus 4 is 5. And then 3 times negative 4 is negative 12, plus 2 is negative 10, absolute value is 10, 10 minus 5 is 5. So the negative 4 does work. So we're saying this equation has just a single solution for x, and that solution is negative 4.